Hey guys, welcome back for more videos about French and today we will target Prison Progressive Prison Progressive which is something that you're not familiar with I guess so I hope you will like it and we will start um, when uh, more people will uh, join this live stream so that like everybody can have the chance to 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 have access to this lesson um, so yeah Prison Progressive Je suis en train de manger. Je suis en train de manger. This is an example of prison progressive. So yeah, if you want to know how to do that, be sure to stay here and check our um, our uh, content. So yeah, you can check. You can put all your comments uh, on YouTube or Facebook, and we will be like uh, I would be happy to answer all your questions. So yeah, um, uh, don't hesitate to ask your questions. So yeah. Just waiting for more people to join. Um, so yeah, Joshua, where is my super suit? Uh, super suit. I have no idea, my guy. Um, so yeah, basically, present progressive for those of you who just joined this live stream. So yeah, we will target that. And again, don't forget to check what we put in the descriptions which is um, really interesting for you guys. Um, I'm going to explain that later. Uh, just, um, again, waiting for more guys. OK. So yeah. So I think we're going to get started. But with, with, with before that, be sure to check, as I said, what is uh, in the description with uh, all the vocabulary that you can find. So here is an example, uh, like if you want to travel in France, uh, travel to France, you can have this vocabulary, which is really interesting for you guys. So uh, that's, you have a lot of vocabulary, like emergency word in case of emergency. Um, so yeah, be sure to check that. This is all free. All you have to do is go on the description, check the link, click, create a free um, account, and then you've got access to all that, uh, all those PDFs. So that's a, a really good opportunity for you guys, so don't miss that. And now, I think um, we are going to get started with a prison progressive. And bonjour for those of you who just joined. I see Bashir, bonjour. Uh, Roman saying French is awesome. So yeah, hi to everybody. And let's get started with a prison progressive. So. Uh, so here is, don't forget this link, and then you've got uh, the usage of um, this present progressive, être en train de, être en train de. This is what we will target today. So it means literally like to be in the middle of doing something. So when you say, uh, like you use this kind of um, sentence, you've got this meaning, to be in the middle of something. Um, and often there is a nuance, like there are implied nuances when you use être en train de. First, it means like the action is currently underway. When you use this, it means like always you're doing the action. Like now, currently, you're doing the action. So this is important. So that's why I put to be in the middle of doing something. You are in the middle of doing something. And then, um, yeah. The action is currently underway, and you've got uh, like a currently or no that it, uh, now that is implied. So yeah, this is basically the, the meaning. And now let's uh, check some examples. So the first one is: Je suis en train de courir. Je suis en train de courir. I am in the middle of a run. So yeah, as you can see, you are in the middle of the action. Je suis en train de courir. Suis en train de courir. And then let's check another one, another example. Il est en train de faire à manger. Il est en train de faire à manger. He is now cooking. He is now cooking. Il est en train de faire à manger. So like the action that he is currently doing is cooking. So this is, il est en train de faire à manger. And then you've got uh, another one. L'enfant est en train de parler. L'enfant est en train de parler. The kid is currently talking. So again, there is currently here, there is now here, and here it's in the middle. So you can see like th three different ways to translate that, uh, like to be in the middle, like the action is uh, currently uh, underway. 
so here currently and here now you've got now currently and in the middle so this is basically all the nuances that can uh, pops up with a to be in the like um, to be in the middle of something like je suis en train de être en train de faire quelque chose être en train de so maybe you don't understand why I'm using here different words but here it's always the same so basically it's because I'm using one verb and let's now check at the structure of this construction so here this is the pattern that you need to remember the subject like je tu il like I you or uh, you um, he she so this is the subject so here je or il subject then you've got the verb which is here uh, like to be être in english to be être but you have to change the form as you know in french you have to do that depending on um, like uh, the, the time and also the um, subject so here because the subject is je you have to say suis je suis je suis and then you've got um, here il être when there is il as a subject it's est il est je suis il est and then you've got en train de that is the, the only part that is not changing en train de en train de en train de as you can see it's always the same and then after that you always have to add an action so again a verb which is the infinitive form so here you can see courir courir like to run and here faire à manger like to cook so here, je suis en train de courir. I am in the middle of a run. And here, il est en train de faire à manger. Il est en train de faire à manger. He is now cooking. Faire à manger, cooking. En train de, like this is what is implied, like we translate it by now, here. And il est, he is. Same here, je suis, I am. Courir, like run. And here, en train de, in the middle of a run. So you see here in the English translation, we don't use a verb, but like it's roughly the same. So you can also translate that by, uh, he is now running, just to put all the nuances that I'm using a different way to translate that. Je suis en train de courir, il est en train de faire à manger. So this is um, uh, how you do the structure of this form. Subject, verb, which is always être, then en train de, and then a verb, infinitive form, like the verb of the action that you are currently doing. So if you're not familiar with, um, with the conjugation of the verb être, to be, as I said, here is um, like a um, kind of memo for you. Je suis, I am. Tu es, you are, so it's always informal singular. Il est, elle est, he is, she is. Nous sommes, we are. Vous êtes, you are, which can be polite or uh, like the plural form. And then, ils sont, elles sont, they are. So here it's like for the masculine and for the feminine form. So this is like the present of the verb être, to be. And then you can always change those forms. Uh, like if you want to use the past, you can also use the past for uh, this structure. Uh, if you want to say, I was in the middle of something, you can say, instead of suis, you take était, the verb était, the form était, and you say, j'étais en train de courir. I was in the middle of a run. J'étais en train de courir. So this is uh, uh, like um, all for the verb être, but all, uh, be careful, it's only present, so you need to learn all the conjugations of um, of the verb être if you want to use the full potential of the form that we're learning, present progressive. But it's always the same uh, pattern once you manage to remember all the conjugation of uh, être. So now, uh, let's move on to um, the next one, which is the negative form. The negative form is really simple, like it's like um, when you're using any verb, uh, in French and you want to add the, uh, the, negation, the negation. So here it's only the black part that is added. So here you see ne and pas. So if you want to say je ne suis pas, like uh, I am not currently writing a letter, you would say je ne suis pas en train d'écrire une lettre. So here same structure if you remove the ne and the pas, 
Je ne suis pas en train d'écrire une lettre. Je ne suis pas en train d'écrire une lettre. So here I'm doing the liaison here. Je ne suis pas en train. Je ne suis pas en train without the liaison. Je ne suis pas en train with the liaison. Can you hear it? Je ne suis pas en train. Je ne suis pas en train. You have to say, je ne suis pas en train. Pas en train. This is the liaison. Because here you've got a S and here a vowel. And when there is a S at the end of a word and a vowel at the first, as the first letter of the next word, you have to do the liaison. Pas encore. Pas en train. Pas en train. Je ne suis pas en train d'écrire une lettre. So this is really basic, uh, like just adding the negation. This is how you do. So you don't add the negation after the en train de. It's here, before, like, like surrounding the verb, être, ne pas. And here you can see that because the first letter of this verb is starting with, um, with a vowel, I'm contracting the D here. I'm not using the D, the E. I'm using only D and then that. Uh, so basically, this is happening whenever you have um, like a vowel at the first letter of a verb. And it's not only for the negative form, it's also for the positive form. It's just like it's m easier to say. Like you, if you want to say en train de écrire, it's a bit weird and it's smoother if you say en train d'écrire, en train d'écrire, en train d'écrire. So this is uh, something that you need to check. You have when there is a vowel as a first letter, always do this contraction. This is important. And then let's have a look at the other example. Nous ne sommes pas en train de boire du café. Nous ne sommes pas en train de boire du café. So here it's like we, we are not drinking coffee right now. Nous ne sommes pas en train de boire du café. So here, nous, we, some, or, ne and pas, not, drinking, like en train de boire, like drinking right now, en train de boire, and then um, coffee, uh, du café. So here you see, um, we are translating en train de by drinking right now, like en train de boire, drinking right now. So this is also something that you can, um, a way you can translate it. So um, let's move on to um, the way you can translate that, because sometimes people think that it's really simple to be doing something, it's être en train de. Être en train de is to be doing something, like equivalent. And this is not always true. That's why I try my best not to translate it like that with the previous examples. Because there is, like, it's useful to know that, to have this in mind to, like, translate. But you have to keep in mind that it's not always the case and there are more that is implied when you do that. So let's have a look at two more examples. When you say in English, I am eating, I am eating, in French, you can translate it by je mange or je suis en train de manger, depending on the context. So here, as you can see, I'm eating is je suis en train de manger, but it's not like equivalent. You've got also the possible translation with je mange, je mange, which is uh, like only I eat, like literally, but like in English, you will be more inclined to say I'm eating when you're really eating, but in French, you will say like je mange a lot of like in a lot of situations like s let's say 50% you would say je mange 50% you would say je suis en train de manger but this is in some cases in some really specific situation it might be possible that um, it's less weird if you translate it by je mange so be careful with that but this example is not like um, a really tough one because um, uh, you can say both and it's usually not wrong if you say that but let's try to translate, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, you would translate it by je pense in French. Like in almost all cases, you would translate it by je pense, which is not je suis en train de penser. If you use je suis en train de penser, it might sound a bit weird and it's, it might sound like too strong. Because I'm thinking is not strong enough uh, like to prove, like if you want to, to underline the fact that you are doing the action, like this is the less, the, um, the less strong, then this is this one is a bit more uh, strong, and this one is even more strong. This one is really strong. It would be a bit like if you want to if you say uh, uh, like I am now thinking, 
I am now thinking is more like the correct translation of, or of uh, je suis en train de penser. I am now, think, now thinking, je suis en train de penser. So here there is the now. And because of this, we can translate it by en train de. With the now, you are uh, stressing the fact that the action is underway. That's why we are using en train de for the translation. Je suis en train de penser. I am now thinking. And it's not like, if you translate it by je pense, it's not strong enough to, to translate. If you translate with that, it, you will not reveal the full potential of, like, the full uh, meaning of this sentence. I am now thinking, you have to translate it by je suis en train de penser, or something like that. But not just je pense. And here, uh, another example, I am currently eating. Um, with this, because there is currently, you have to translate the currently. So you can translate literally, currently, by translating by uh, actuellement, actuellement. And you can say, je mange actuellement, je mange actuellement. But it's a bit weird, and the more common way to say that is, je suis en train de manger, je suis en train de manger. So here, as you, see, as you can see, I'm using the form uh, like uh, être en train de. So this is present progressive. Present progressive, je suis en train de manger, I am currently eating. And same, when you say, je suis en train de manger, in most cases, it would be better to tr translate it by I am currently eating, which is better than I'm just eating, like I'm eating. So be careful with that. Um, like I think the most interesting example is I'm thinking, because when you say I'm thinking, you have to translate it by je pense. And this is not je suis en train de penser. And je suis en train de penser is like I am currently thinking or I am now thinking. So this is uh, something that you need to keep in mind. But this can be an easy way for you to remember what is um, implied uh, by, um, by, um, by this form, like the present progressive. But don't forget, this means to be in the middle of something, to be in the middle of an action. So this is what you need to remember. And so I'm going to do a short quiz right now. So be sure to check, um, to check that and try by yourself and add uh, in the comments like uh, the answers for that. So here, I give you a verb and a subject. Parler, nous. So the verb, the subject. And I want you to use the form, like the present progressive, with those examples. So here, nager, elle. So like it's, it's uh, they, and like to swim. Here it's to speak. Here it's we. Acheter du pain, and mon papa. Mon papa, my dad. And acheter du pain, to buy some bread. So I give you some time to try to put all the forms of that. And during this time, I'm going to check the comments. Um, so yeah, I missed a lot of hello from a lot of people. So yeah, yo, hey to everybody. Um, uh, I like this language, thank you. Uh, but it's some lucky. I still have a hard time with adding the de, like en train d'écrire. Never know when I need de, otherwise I'd say en train d'écrire, en train d'écrire. OK, so for this, en train de. This is really important uh, to remember that en train de, you cannot like separate it. You always need en train de. But if there is a vowel, like the next word is starting with a vowel, D, you remove the E and you just keep the D. Je suis en train d'écrire. Je suis en train d'écrire. So this is um, en train de, like always together, like you cannot separate this part. And then, only if there is the vowel after you keep you cut the, the e, and more generally speaking, like when you are um, uh, when you have the d e, this word d e, and then there is a vowel after you always cut the e. So this is the vowel, the important thing. You need to remember that when de plus a word starting with the vowel vowel appears, you cut the e. So I hope the, it, it was clear for you. This is quite a simple rules. It just you need to think about that, uh, and like if you do that a lot of times, you will be able to remember. So that's cool. Um, uh, nous ne sommes pas de parler. Alors, this one, Roxian tried. Nous ne sommes pas de parler. It's almost good. It's just uh, you need you forgot the main part, which is en train, en train, like in the middle, en train. Nous ne sommes pas. En train de parler. Uh, it's not that hard. Yeah. 
Uh, I hope for you guys it's not that hard. Oh, I see Mario say, uh, nous sommes en train de parler. Perfect. Um, so yeah, on my way to, to, to do an action, to doing an action, like yeah, this is, you are in the middle of something. I am really eating apple breakfast, now wearing apple region t-shirt, you are in right time. Okay, <laughs> good. Um, il est en train de nager. Perfect, Proxian. Il est en train de nager. Uh, but here, the subject I, I chose, uh, this one is a bit different, but it's okay. Uh, your sentence is still correct. Uh, yeah, L, as said, César. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to put uh, the answers now. I'm going to show the answers. Um, okay, I missed it. So here, um, here are the answers. So, nous, subject, nous, some, like être, transform, because the subject is nous. Nous sommes en train de parler. Nous sommes en train de parler. Nous sommes en train de parler. And then for this one, elles sont en train de nager. 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 Acheter du pain and mon papa. Mon papa, the subject, my dad, mon papa est en train d'acheter du pain. Mon papa est en train d'acheter du pain. So here, if you want to translate that, nous sommes en train de parler. We are uh, now speaking, like talking each other to each other. Nous sommes en train de parler. So now we are doing the action. Elles sont en train de nager. They are um, like currently swimming. They are now swimming. Elles sont en train de nager. This is the action that they are doing right now. And then, mon papa est en train d'acheter du pain. My dad um, is currently uh, buying some bread. So like he, he went to buy some bread. This means like. Uh, he's out, and then he um, he is uh, at the bakery buying some bread. So this is right now. He do, he is doing the action. So um, I hope it was not uh, that hard for you, César. Uh, I see the correct answer for the last sentence. Um, oh, I see one question for Michael. Salut, et comment ça va aujourd'hui? Ça va très bien. Salut. Uh, J'ai une question, mais je vais le demander en anglais. Can't you also use, I guess? Can't you also use the verb aller and the verb to signify the present progressive in French? So this is different. If you, I think what you mean, what you want to say is like, je vais nager. Like, or here, uh, like, yeah, je vais nager. So if I take this example, nager with the verb nager, to swim, je vais nager. It means like, I'm going to swim uh, or um, I go swimming. So this means like this is future. So when you use aller, it means the future, which is not the present progressive. But that can be confusing because in French, you use the present. Like I am, um, like uh, je suis, enfin, je vais nager. Ve, it's like the verb aller, aller. And then it's present. So that can be confusing, but it means the future. So this is really different from what we are target, targeting right now. Je vais manger. I will eat. This is or I go eating. This is how you can translate it. And even in English, it's like uh, when you use go, you can say that as well. Like you are about to do the action. But here it's like you are doing the action. The action is right now. You are in the middle of this action. So you need to remember that. Uh, this is quite different. So I hope you understood the difference properly. Um, and I see, uh, do you have all the questions? Uh, I would like to visit friends. Yeah, sure, visit friends. Mon papa est en train d'acheter du pain. Okay, good. Um, so I see some of you guys tried to do the translation, which is good. Uh, and most of you guys had the correct uh, answers. So that's cool. And thank you, Melissa, for Il est génial. Um, so, yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this video, you can still uh, put some comments and like and share. But uh, like I'm going to stay here for um, a few moments to answer the questions. Uh, so let's go back. Um, and uh, so here we've got uh, the quiz. So if you want to try again, I'm going to put just uh, the, the verb and the subject here. And if you try, like if for you guys who didn't try, you can try again to do the translation. That can be a good training for you guys. And of course, ask questions. 
so Michael Kiefer, merci beaucoup. Don't forget to add the U. You said merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup with the U uh, between the A and the C. Merci beaucoup. This is a better spelling. Uh, and Roxian, I need a study partner. That can be really useful for you to, um, to learn uh, languages, uh, to have a partner. Or a teacher, I'm very slow. Yeah, a teacher is a kind of study partner. Uh, I think it's really interesting if you've got like your own teacher and you can ask all the questions. But if you have any questions, you can ask right now and I will be hap happy to answer. Uh, and also, one of your partner can be like uh, all the vocabulary sheets that are um, here. Uh, like uh, you can see that in the descriptions, you've got a lot of PDF with uh, like vocabulary, like really easy to understand. Um, so basically uh, here, uh, you've got, uh, if you've like, um, lost, like you need some medical emergency, like words for medical emergency, uh, that can be really useful. Uh, this, this vocabulary, um, like if you're going to a trip, like if you visit France, you can have a lot of vocabulary related to that. So that can be really useful. So be sure uh, to check that, like it's all free. So go for it, like it's, a, it's in the description. So yeah, you need, uh, but like vocabulary only is not enough to learn a language so be careful uh, you need to practice to do some exercise to try to speak like you need to try a lot of different uh, resources not only vocabulary this is really important so this is also good to attend to those lessons and to see um, like something more interactive um, do you know a good kids show television series in french um, there is one uh, that I'm thinking of right now. It's like um, Les Mysterieuses Cités d'Or, Les Mysterieuses Cités d'Or, which is uh, like kind of old series, but like it's a co-production between uh, Japanese and French uh, companies. So um, uh, this is a really good animation and it's in French. So I think it's not that hard, so you can understand a lot of words, uh, but it's not like uh, like for small kids, it's like more like 10 years old. Um, so this is one thing that you can try. Les Mysterieuses Cités d'Or. Les Mysterieuses Cités d'Or. Uh, or you can try n uh, like uh, an, an American series or a, I don't know, like any series and then um, put that in French. That could be a good training. Nous ne sommes pas en train de parler. Elles ne sont pas en train de manger. Mon papa ne est pas en train d'acheter du pain. It's almost perfect, César. It's just one thing that is missing here. Uh, like um, you see, you add the negation. You add the negation here. Ne est, but it's the same case than with the d. Here you've got vowel here, so you need to do a contraction. So you need to cut the e, and then you add the n. So mon papa n'est pas en train d'acheter du pain. Mon papa n'est pas en train d'acheter du pain. So yeah, you need um, you need to do that. Um, so GR is asking how do I spell it was a kid show. So les mystérieuses like mysterious uh, golden cities. Mysterious golden cities I think in English that would be like a literal translation. Mysterious M um, Y like uh, S T E or I E U S E S. So this is mysterious, mysterious, and then Cité d'Or, C I T E, Cité, and then d'Or, D space or O R. So this is uh, how you spell it. I hope you could catch it. Um, so yeah, uh, this is something that could be interesting for you. Uh, is it ne? Exactly, this is ne here, n e. So you need to do that. Don't forget to do the contraction. You cut the e, and then ne. Mon papa n'est pas en train de d'acheter du pain. My dad is not currently buying some bread. He is not. N'est pas. So this is um, 
and all for that. And last question, Sergio saying that um, what is the meaning of beaucoup? So don't forget the U again, B-E-A-U-C-O-U-P, and it means like a lot. So thanks a lot. Merci beaucoup. Thanks a lot. So yeah, uh, perfect. Good uh, spelling, César. Good spelling. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so be sure to check uh, to check what is in the descriptions and um, like and share this video if you really enjoyed that and I hope uh, you will join for the next uh, live stream which will be next week uh, same time um, same uh, same place on YouTube or Facebook and so yeah October 3rd um, and we will target how to read dates so like if you want to say the date in French be sure to be here, same time. This is uh, what we will target this time. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and um, see you next time. And don't forget to check uh, to check the description with the, all the links that can be useful for you guys. So yeah, see you guys.